We all know the classic story of farm kids who can't wait to get to the big city, but more and more that trend is reversing and young people are returning to rural farms. Rose Dunn talked to blogger and cookbook author Molly Ye, who works from her East Grand Forks farm. That's right, Shauna. In large part, that trend has only been possible since the internet. That's true for Molly Ye. She and her husband moved back to his sugar beet farm in 2013, and since then, she's become a very big deal in the food world. It just felt so right that we came out here once, and I took one look around, and I thought, okay, I'm moving here whether Nick's with me or not. Molly Ye was raised in Chicago, then went to school at Juilliard in New York. That's where she met her husband. Nick Hagen was raised on a farm near East Grand Forks. They both pursued careers in music. Most of the time when I play now, it's with like friends from college who have started their own ensembles. But after a few years of big city life, they decided to return to the farm that's been in his family for five generations. Well, I love it here. It's I mean, I love the winter, and I just love being cozy. That's when Molly really started to pursue her passion for cooking and discovered Midwest comfort know. food. The Midwest does winter food the best. Hot dishes and vegetable salads. And those are some of the things that I fell in love with the most when I moved here. Living in New York, you can get any kind of food from all over the world, but you can't really get a hot dish. And so coming here, I thought, what am I going to learn about food? I've lived in New York. I've tasted all the foods. <laughs> and then I got here and I learned about um, lefsa and tater tot hot dish, wild rice hot dish, and all of these delicious things. Molly loves being able to grow fresh food right outside her door. They have chickens. Here they are. Oh, they're beautiful. They're huge, right? And her favorite discovery was her rhubarb patch. I learned that every good Minnesotan has a freezer full of frozen rhubarb at all times. Molly has attracted international attention from the comfort of her farm home. She's published a cookbook inspired from her popular and award-winning blog, My Name is Ye, and has a large social media following. Probably the most important thing that he ever taught me in the kitchen was how to put the tater tots down in neat rows and columns. She's attracted attention from some of the biggest names in the business, including Bon Appetit and Vanity Fair. She's one of Forbes 30 Under 30 for 2017 and one of People Magazine's 50 food faves. I'm just having so much fun. If you're still looking for a last-minute Christmas gift with local flavor, her cookbook is called Molly on the Range. Besides great recipes, it's a fun read about her life on the farm. She even autographed mine the day we came out to interview her. Nice. Thanks, Rose.